this video, we're using scientific notation to estimate a big product here. We have 16 times 5,280 times 5,280 times 12 times 12 times 12. And we want to use scientific notation to get a quick estimate of what this might be. So we want to take each of these values separately. First, we have 16 here and we have our decimal point right here. If we move it over one spot, so then we have 1.6, this whole number here, we're going to get 1.6 times 10 to the first because we moved the decimal place one to the left, which means our exponent is positive and it's equal to one. So 1 1.6 times 10 to the first, then we're going to look at 5280. Our decimal point is right here. We're going to move it over one, two, three spots to the left, which means we're going to get then 5.2, 5.2 times 10 to the third. We have another factor of that, so call it 5.2 times 10 to the third. Then we have 12, 12, and 12. So 12, our decimal point is right here. We want to move it over one unit to the left. So we're going to call that 1.2 times 10 to the first. Then we have that factor three times. So 1.2 times 10 to the first and 1.2 times 10 to the first. Now, remember, we're just using scientific notation to estimate. So what we can do is round these decimal values to the nearest whole number. So instead of 1.6, we could call this two. Instead of 5.2, we could call it five, so five and five. Instead of 1.2, we'll do one, one, and one. And then we have all these powers of 10. So what we want to do is then, because all these things are multiplied together, we want to multiply all of these values together. So 2 times 5 is 10. 10 times 5 is 50. 50 times 1 times 1 times 1 is still 50. So all of these multiplied together is going to give us... 50. And then here we want to look at all of our powers of 10. So 10 to the first times 10 to the third times 10 to the third times 10 to the first times 10 to the first times 10 to the first. Because all the bases are the same, all the bases are equal to 10, we know that we can just add the exponents. So 1 plus 3 is 4, plus 3 is 7, 8, 9, 10. So we get 10 to the 10. So 50 times 10 to the 10. But this isn't in scientific notation. We have 50 here. We need 5.0. So instead of 50, we want to move the decimal place one spot to the left and get 5.0 times. Because we move the decimal place one spot to the left, we have 10 to the first power and then 10 to the 10. So we're going to get 5.0 times 10 to the first times 10 to the 10. We add the exponents together and we get 10 to the 11. So that's our final answer, and that's how you can use scientific notation to quickly estimate a value like this one.